It's your man RT Ham. So this is a video. This is another sparring session. This time it was strictly just boxing. I know the other one was kickboxing that I posted earlier this week. So the thing about this one is it's a little sloppy, both of us. Uh, if you notice, it's mostly basics, of course. I am not a boxer. He is not a boxer. But I, this is something I want to get into more. I enjoy the sport. I enjoy combats in general. So I do these sparring sessions and hope to get better. And I record them to show me, you know, the flaws. What am I doing wrong? One thing I noticed during this uh, sparring session was the fact that I wasn't moving laterally. You can only move back so many times. See, I did it there. And also, I try to rely too much on the head movement, which makes it harder for me to dodge anything. Then it uh, leaves me open and vulnerable to hits. And then also, you see that rear hand going down. It's a little low. It's not a little low. It is low. See, I was, I was trying to slip those punches, but I can't just keep doing that. It gets predictable. It's fine that they'll in that shoulder, you know, knock the punches prairie. But see, I'm not moving much. Need to move more. You gotta start working on my footwork a little bit more. See, that was, what was that? It was lazy. I'm not just gonna bash myself during this whole video. I'm just pointing out the flaws. Because, you know, want to get better. So that body jab just not gonna do anything. Mm -hmm. See, that was a good step back right there. See, with the times when I do movement, it looks, you know, pretty good. I'm not gonna say it looks amazing, but it looks good. This right here, you know, it's easy to telegraph. That was a nice jab. I'll say I've gotten a lot better with my jabs. That was a nice straight right there. Uh. Eric switched stances right there. Didn't notice that before. But he's constantly switching stances. Oh, yeah. huh. But that was a nice counter punch right there. I still need to protect myself more, though. I need to start knocking down that lead hand instead of just tapping it and getting nowhere from doing that. See, the hands are low right there. It's too low. If you had to throw an overhead, it would cop me or a hook. All right, here's another round. I can't remember if this was the second or the first. I kind of mixed up my video files. So if we look a little bit more tired, then that's why. But no excuses. So look, trying a little <laughs> trickery there. See, I like the movement somewhat better here. The jab's really nice. The jab's good. Ah, that hook. Went for that, huh? And the body jab. Nice slip there. You gotta stop slipping to that side. See, that's nice. You gotta keep doing that. See, that's nice. The way I'm moving. The way I pulled that punch back. Didn't want to reach. Caught myself reaching. Well, I should probably throw more combination. Instead of just jabs or one twos. See, there we go, dipping again. He's using more head movement this time. More solid head movement, but see, I kept ducking. I gotta stop doing that. That was a nice slip, though. And if you notice, I'm constantly switching my stance. I do that so I'm comfortable with both hands leading and with a. Both hands back, both hands rearing. See, Eric, uh, he's applying a lot of pressure here. I'm praying most of these punches. Say a few of them to hit me somewhat near the chest area. But wasn't a bad round. We stopped for a second because uh, someone pointed out that he had some blood in his mouth. Just making sure he was good. But he, he was fine. He bit his lip, actually. You're going. You notice Eric, he's reaching a lot, and I should have slipped on the inside and caught him with a hook or an uppercut to the body. 
See, that step back, see? Can't go anywhere. Should have went laterally. See, here's uh, another round. Like I said, I don't know which round this is. I said, uh, I'll number it next time. Be a little more aggressive on this one. The jab. Uh, switch stands up, smooth transition. I gotta serve a more. I gotta move laterally. That was a good shot. Good movement right there. You may not be able to tell, but some of those shots he's landing to the body. He's landing some of those. Not all of them, but he's landing some of those. Okay. I didn't need to switch stands right there. I think I did this. I did it because I felt like I was stuck. That's why you should be moving around. I took a shot right there on the jaw. I went with it, but I took a shot. Because I had my hands too low, though. Nice jab right there. Ah. See that? Some nice defense right here. My Philly should look the best, probably. At this point, throughout the whole day, really gotta stop doing that ducking. Man. Stop moving. Stop moving. Look, I look stuck. Reaching my uh, jab hand, my lead hand, out too far. That was a nice setup. That was nice too. But I, I took a punch too. Didn't have my hands up. I didn't move or anything. Take yourself at all times. This is not very different. I was making fun of how I made my cheeks choke, you know? Like I got stung by a bee. In the face. No. Oh. I feel like this left side is going to go over my eye. Like these lines of the camera. There we go. There right, my phone, you got it? It's not locked, right? Nope. Alright, so this round. We have the headgear on. We know we agreed to go a little harder, go a little faster. Pause. But, yeah. So I told him I'd give him probably like around 80%. Maybe. At least movement wise. Not so much hitting wise. I don't. You know, there's no need in me hitting him like that or him hitting me like that. Get nothing out of that. So, you can see it's a lot more movement it's a lot faster see this is what i meant earlier that i should be sparring like this every time though this practice makes perfect see that i tried to switch my feet lost my foot and i shouldn't have done it right there his foot was already there because he's constantly switching too i'm not a southpaw fighter but i still like to just switch it up see right there i still need to keep my hands up but the movement is a lot better. It makes it harder for people to hit me. And I'm on the outside. I'm more of a range fighter. I'm not really a close range guy. That's another reason why sparring air gets a little weird sometimes when we get tangled up because I just don't like close range. But that's also why I need to move around more. I was loving the way I was looking at this. I was finding the jab. It was there every time. Sometimes my two was there. I was moving out the way to punches. Look at that. Nice movement right there. I should have shimmied on him though. I should have acted like I was going to the right and then went to the left instead of kept circling. See like right here? We got a little too close. Look like I threw punches in there though. The nice hooks right there. Nice drop. I dropped to make a think I was throwing something else and see I love the way I bounce back on that off that back foot see the jab was finding at home
see that close range. See, I, I need to move more on that. If I would have just moved, I could have hit him with a mean hook right there. Yeah, I mean laterally, not move back. So that that's me with, you know, the right movement, or at least the right speed. Remember, practice makes perfect. And anything you practice will become a habit. So you need to do good habits. This is me explaining that, uh, you know, some of the footwork and stuff. I was telling the guys that, we was moving around and you know certain things are weird and i was ready to go another round with anthony actually but like and subscribe guys let me know what y'all think in the comments below